What's going on? Family Black Phoenix checking in with you this morning. I was asked a small question. What are a few tips I could give about stick welding? Well, I have five tips I could give you that could really help you in your stick welding career. And the first step would be knowing how to set your machine. You need to know how to set your machine due to whatever rod you are using. So whatever rod you're using, like this is the eighth inch rod, you need to know how to set your machine in the well between 115, 122, you know, depends on the uh, machine. So I would say anywhere between 115 to 120, 122, you know, it's good. It should burn this rod up very well. So the second step would be knowing your angle. When you're putting this rod into your stinger, you need to know your angle. Me personally, I say anywhere between 5 and 15 degrees. Depends on what angle, uh, depends on what position I mean you're welding in. And the third thing would be your travel speed. You want to maintain a nice travel speed. So <clears throat> you don't want to start slow and then go fast. You know, if you got to move real fast in the well, then you got to move fast through the whole thing. But you don't want to change up the travel speed. And the fourth thing I would say, your gap. You want to maintain a tight gap. If you keep a tight gap when you're welding stick, um, you can control the arc better. And it lays down a smooth, nice well, in my personal opinion. And the fifth thing you have to do, you have to be comfortable. So the best thing is once you get all your things lined out, you want to be comfortable so that way you can weld sufficient in whatever position that you're welding in. If it's overhead, if it's vertical up, if it's flat, horizontal, 5G, 6G, whatever the situation is.